Good morning, everybody. It is uh, 5.38 in the morning here, my time. So 38 Eastern time. And um, today I want to talk about this critical zone we're in right now with Bitcoin. Um, uh, it's a lot of things to talk about. But um, before I start, I'd like to ask you to subscribe if you haven't uh, yet. We, uh, we share um, uh, any piece of news that's critical enough for you to know about, uh, about Bitcoin or any of the altcoins. Um, uh, share any articles, we, uh, any signals that we have in our Discord group. We'll leave the link in, uh, in the description. Um, but yeah, with, with Bitcoin today, this morning, we see that we are literally just hovering above the 21 EMA. If we switch to the hour of the year, um, we had the significant drop after I think that so we we hit this level the first time and we couldn't keep it then we tried to hit it again we had a bit of a higher high nothing crazy just a couple of dollars extra and we dropped again significantly um, we tried next time not a higher high as we wanted it to be but we had a higher low. Um, then we kept on moving here. If you go sideways, then again, we couldn't keep up with this high and we capped it at the 19,360, I believe. Uh, 19,400, I'd say. Then again, same thing here. Now we dropped, and when we dropped, we actually dropped below the $18,000. Now keep in mind, we haven't really got to this level yet. So if we're, if we're looking from a macro point of view, this is still looking like it could be a, um, a higher low kind of situation. Something like this. That's what I think everybody's hoping for. And if we actually do end up getting this ascending triangle, so we'll have something like this right here. Where's it at? So we had this down, up, down, up, down, up. And this is. Uh, is an ascending triangle formation. What usually typically happens is that this would actually end up breaking up, coming down to retest again, and then shoots up. Now, is that going to happen for sure? We don't know, but Bitcoin right now does not hold this level, which is looking like it's trying to, but if the 21 EMA does not hold this right here. We do have this nice um, uh, hammer candle, which indicates a reversal to the upside. But if you look at the four hour, this is where we are right now. So we dropped below our 100 EMA, went all the way down. We found support at the um, I would say 200 EMA, but now we're going back up to retest down the EMA in the four hour. And it looks like we did have a, some sort of resistance. So Bitcoin needs to keep moving up again. But if we fall below, I would say somewhere here on the four hour, then, um, I don't know what to tell you. Because for the longest time, right now, if you look at this, I want to see what you think of this. So if you let me know what you think. Maybe I'm being too pessimistic. Which all, all my friends tell me I am. Oh, that sounded so sad. Okay, so we go back here to the monthly. I'm anticipating a pullback here and I keep saying it, but maybe I'm wrong, but the breakup for the 20,000 does not have to happen today or this
this month or before 2021 happens. It doesn't have to. You know, I watch a lot of, you know, YouTubers talk about this is happening today, tomorrow. That we don't know. We don't know. So you can't just take that for granted. And keep in mind, it could literally just blow up right now while I'm speaking. It could just drop and then just keep moving up past the 20K. But from a technical point of view, the most significant resistance that we had for Bitcoin was literally here. Why do you oh. why do you think we shot all the way up? Because we broke it the key resistance level at the 14k, this zone. This is the zone that we broke up. So this right here, we haven't came back to retest yet. Technically speaking, every time we know that this is a simple rule. Every time you break a resistance, you go crazy. And then you come back to retest it. Now, maybe we're not going back to retest all the way down, but along the way, we do have zones that give us some sort of idea of where it could go to, right? This is uh, Mac, our size in the Oso region. MACD is, is, is crazy, right? Still on the upper side. So we still haven't had our you know, our pullback there, but I don't think we're going here. We don't necessarily have to, but I would say if we go to the weekly chart, then this is a nice key level support, the 16K. If we go and put our Fibonacci levels, I just realized I had this whole piano song running almost six times in a row. This right here, we're taking this run up all the way up. It coincides with our first Fibonacci level, 16K. I might be I might be too pessimistic right now, but you gotta hear me out. Because this could definitely happen. And if the 16K doesn't hold, then guess where we're going next? Because all this ascending, this is this is still extremely bullish. This is still extremely bullish. This can still easily do this. An ascending trend that everybody wants to talk about. Boom, boom, then breaks up. But I just think on a very macro scale here, we need some sort of a pullback. And I don't think this is enough. We even have, we haven't, we didn't even go back to the 0 0.236 on the Fibonacci level. And look at this, MACD sticking down, RSI is extremely oversold. Look at what happens every time we hit this level of an RSI. This right here, if I draw a horizontal line. What happens here? Every time we hit it, we saw what happens, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Let me know what you think. But that's pretty much it for me today. So um, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, jo join our Discord group, and uh, um, have a great day. Thank you.